After studying for four years to become a diplomat, I changed my mind out of the blue and decided to become a full-time artist. Was it a good idea? Do I regret it even if it's just a little bit? Hey guys, I'm Yane and in this video we're gonna see about choosing an art career. A little background first. I graduated law school in 2017 and started studying to become a diplomat, which was my dream since I was a teenager. Here in Brazil, you need to take public exams if you want to become a civil servant. The exam is really hard, the one for diplomacy, and the average person spent like five years studying for it. And while it was hard, of course, um, not passing the exam, it wasn't really terrible studying because I like to do it. And it was some subjects I like, like foreign policy, languages, economy, I love studying those. So it's not that I changed my mind because studying was hard. It would be worth it if I really wanted to become a diplomat, which was my dream at first. But let me explain to you what happened because you might be in a similar situation. When I was feeling down because, oh, I'm studying and I'm never passing and, you know, all those self-doubts, I would think to myself, oh, Yang, but imagine how wonderful it's going to be when you are a diplomat. And then I would be able to go forward and I would always do my best. But then in 2021, I was having one of these moments and when I tried to think to myself and imagine how wonderful it would be to be a diplomat, it didn't feel wonderful anymore in my mind. And so after having mild anxiety crisis for a few weeks, I realized I couldn't keep going. I couldn't be a diplomat. I couldn't work with law anymore. I wanted to be an artist. I wanted to work with art full time and make a living out of it. But although I did have this like calling, I didn't just give everything up and jump right in with art. No, it's really important that we are not reckless in our decisions. And so what I thought was, well, up until then, I would make well, maybe $200 in a year. So I thought to myself, if I can consistently and reliably make $100 per month for the next few months, then this has a future. It might work. And you may think, what? But $100 isn't anything. But remember, I'm changing from $200 a year to $100 a month. It's a big step. It's a big leap. So for me, that was my stepping in the water with Vaseline. So that was my like tasting the waters. And what was my surprise when on the first month I got like $500 and I was so excited. But then I thought it could be a fluke. And it's really important that you think critically and seriously when this type of thing happens because it could be just luck. So I kept going for a few months, but each month I would make a little bit more. And after six months or so, I started making about $800, which is a really nice salary in Brazil. And that's when I saw, oh my God, it's true. I can be a full-time artist and it's going to work. <laughs> and it's done now that I, when I remember it, I see it's done that I thought about it like that because obviously many people make a lot of money as artists why would it be any different with me like okay that sounded arrogant but i mean i have this mindset that if someone else can i can as well so that's what i mean if there are so many artists that they make a living out of art and they live really well then why wouldn't that be possible with me so i must say i am not at that point yet i think i should earn about two or three thousand dollars to live really well but i'm making about like a thousand dollars a month which is really good i mean it's been one year and a half kind of that i started doing this so if i were to become a diplomat my initial salary would be over three thousand dollars a month and you might think i'm insane because after spending four years studying for it i abandoned the idea but you need to know about the sunken cost fallacy, which is something that I think all humans do, which is when we spend a lot of resources, be it money or time on something, we think now I'm too deep, I can't go back. But this is a fallacy, this is false. You know why? Because all the time that you already spent, all the money that you already spent, it cannot be recovered. So it's over, it's in the past. And that's what happened. Okay, sure, I spent four years and a lot of money studying, but 
it's in the past. I can't change it. I can't take that money back, you know? And what would be the point in me doing a work I hate for money? Well, like any other human being, I think I can do any sort of work if I need it, right? But with what I'm earning right now, well, I'm not starving, you know? I can live okay. And I believe like most careers, I think when we progress, when we learn more and we make more connections, we're going to naturally make more money. I have some expectation for the future. I think I'm going to make more. I think it's going to work. And what you should take from all of this video is maybe you are in a situation when you are working with something you hate and you don't know if you could be an artist. And I'm not saying YOLO, go for it without considering everything. Because when I took these decisions, I had my family backing me financially. And that's really important. I wouldn't be able to just, you know, whoa, I'm going to be an artist and it doesn't matter how I'm going to pay the bills. It's not like that. You need to think about things. If you have children, if you have, if you live with someone, like you're married, you need to talk to them about it. You can't just make this sort of decision by yourself. And also, you need to test the waters. For me, after a couple of months, I was making an okay amount of money. But maybe it could take you, I don't know, six months or maybe one week. You never know. You should try little by little. You shouldn't jump head in first. It's really risky and reckless. So yeah, my idea here is it's possible to make a living from art. We have a lot of videos about it on the internet. And I hope my story is somewhat inspiring for you because, well, I gave up a very nice switch, but in exchange, I gained working with something I like and towards goals I love and having flexibility with my time, which is really important for me. Well, of course, I still worry about money. I'm not earning as much as I wish I were, but I think it's important to be realistic. How likely is it that I will not make more money with the passing of time? It's unlikely because my skills are improving. I am doing my best. I have a lot of planning. I work a lot. I make commissions. I make freelance work. I'm posting on YouTube, on Instagram. So it's unlikely that I'm not going to make more. And I'm not saying that to brag, but to show you that even if you start and you're making a little, you might grow, you know? It's probably what's going to happen. So yeah, have faith and plan ahead, please. <laughs> if you don't know how to plan and how to have a productive week, check out this next video here. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.